Hello everyone, welcome to the video on adverse effects of drugs. Now the reason why we take drug is we need a particular therapeutic activity. The therapeutic action of a drug is known as intended effect of a drug. Now along with this intended effect, drugs also cause unintended effects. Now unintended effects can be classified into two ways. Some of the effects are tolerable, not deleterious to health. They are called as side effects. Whereas some other effects are adversely affect our health, they are called as adverse effects. Now adverse effects again classified into six classes. Type A, B, C, D, E, F. You can easily remember as A, B, C, D, E, F. Now type A is known as augmented adverse effect. This effect is mechanism related, dose related, predictable effect. Understand about this one. Every drug will show particular action. Now according to that action, it also produces certain adverse effects. Think about this, antihypertensive agents, the job of antihypertensive agents is to reduce BP. So by doing so, they may cause hypotension. This is augmented adverse effects. They are predictable. The moment you know the mechanism of the drug, you can predict this kind of adverse effects may be there. Other examples like CNS depressants, sedative hypnotics. What could be the adverse effects? They may cause sedation. Antipsychotics cause sedation and uh, hypoglycemic agents. The reason why we take the drug is to reduce blood glucose level. It may take to a lower level and cause hypoglycemia. So all these are called as augmented adverse effects. They are called as type A. Now type B are known as bizarre effects. They are not dose related. You cannot predict it. Idiosyncratic reasons, unknown reasons, they may cause certain adverse effects like penicillins will cause hypersensitivity or rash. That is called as bizarre effect. Now third one, type C. C is uh, C stands for chronic use of drugs. Now NSAID is when people use for longer period of time, they may cause ulcers. Chronic use of the drugs may cause adverse effects and that is called as type C, chronic effects. Now type D means delayed effects. Certain drugs, after a long time, they will show adverse effects. Take for the example of thalidomide. Thalidomide is supposed to treat morning sickness in pregnant women. Usually they used to take the drug in first trimester. But the effects came out as teratogenic effects in the newborn kids. So it is the effects are delayed. Now next one is type E. Type E is end of therapy effects. Like when someone is taking morphine, if they end the therapy, they will have withdrawal symptoms. It is called as end of therapy effects. Most of the CNS drugs will show these actions. If someone is taking anti-epileptic drugs, they cannot stop it suddenly. They need to reduce the dose. If they stop suddenly, they will have certain effects called as end of the therapy effects. Now last one is known as failure of therapy. In certain cases, take for the case of uh, a cold caused by uh, influenza virus. If you take antibiotic, it is a failure of therapy. You don't get any intended effects and say antibiotics acts against bacteria. But cold is because of a virus. So it's a failure of therapy and the drug, drug will cause kind of adverse effects. They are called as failure of therapy effects. So this is about adverse effects types. Thank you.